there we go. We're down a little closer to our work surface. want to make sure I stay on frame here for you. And we're going to color a flower. Let's use this one here. This one still has a stem. You can see I haven't taken the stem off of it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to fold back my little green petals. There we go. I'm going to fold those back so they're out of the way. I don't want to get them all colored. And guys, you can see how durable this flower is. It's really, see I'm not, can you hear that? I'm tapping it pretty hard and it just does not give at all. Okay, I'm going to sit down here. Yeah, pardon my my Sunday wear, guys. I, uh, I don't tend to dress up a lot when I'm at home. Okay, let's see. Let's move my out light a little. Let's get a little better lighting here for you. How's that? Does that look better? That seems to be better. Unfortunately, I have a cheap light on my right side, and it makes this kind of this glary thing here. There's not much I can do about that. Okay, I'm going to start with, I think I'll start with some Broken China Distress Ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on my craft mat. This is my Tim Holtz craft mat. Maybe we can block that glare a little. I really can't. Okay, I'm going to rub this on my craft mat. Just like that. Just get some on there. Okay. Then I'm going to take just my plain sprayer. And I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit. Now you can see it beating up. <clears throat> and I'm going to take just a paintbrush. I'm going to rub that around in that ink. And if you've got a re-inker, you could use a drop of re-inker. I don't happen to have one for this color. So I'm not going to I'm not going to stress over it. I'm just going to do this. Get that on there and then I'm just going to paint that right onto my flower just real quickly I haven't done any blue flowers yet so I picked blue okay I'm also going to paint the underside of the petals that show when you look at the flower Otherwise, it might look kind of funny if we have some undersides that are white. Okay, just going to paint this all up. And you can see I'm not really being too careful with this. In fact, I'm just really not being careful at all. I'm just kind of slopping it on there. These take the color, the color so well that you really don't have to get crazy about I did order some um, colored flowers, and those should be coming in the mail, I think, probably tomorrow I will get them. I hope. I'm just dying to get my hands on them. Okay. Take my little ratty rag. Wipe that up. Just like that. And you can see there, let me get in here for you, that I have gone from the white to a real pale blue color. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, I'm going to take my Glimmer Mist, and this is Water Slide. I'm going to shake that up good, because I like shimmery flowers. And I'm just going to, again, put a little couple squirts on the craft mat. And I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to touch the edges. This is really hard to do when you're reaching around a camera, guys, i got to tell you. I 
Then as I work in towards the center of the flower, I want to color more of the petals because the center of your flowers are always darker than the edges, as you know. And again, I'm not really being too careful with this. I'm just kind of putting it on there wherever. I love things that are easy, and then when you get them done, they look great. Look like they took you weeks to do. <laughs> Those are my favorite things. I want to get down in that middle pretty good, I think. That looks pretty good there. I like that. Let me zoom in for you. I'm hoping you can see that. There we go. Okay. But I'm not done yet. Because you guys know me, I like I like to add the ground. I got a little too much glimmer mist. Nobody nobody write me angry email for wasting my glimmer mist. <clears throat> I like things a little grungier. You guys all know that. And what I have here is some of my uh, walnut ink. And you can see it says diluted. And what I did was I took the standard walnut ink, this one, <clears throat> and I diluted it down with just plain tap water. I diluted it to about half. And this is a bottle that I had that was almost gone. So... I went ahead and added tap water to it. You got to shake these real well. Well, they're like glimmer mist. It kind of settles out the bottom, and they need to be shook well before you use them. <clears throat> and I'm going to take all these flowers out of this. Okay. I'm going to put that in there, and then I'm just going to take my diluted walnut stain, and I keep a bottle that's not diluted because for most things I don't want it diluted. But for something like this where I just want a little add a little grungy look. And then I'm just gonna miss that flower with that. Just like that. Okay. And then something else I found with with the IamRoses.com flowers is that you can actually take the heat gun to them and it won't hurt them. You do want to stay back a little ways. You don't want to get clear up like this because you'll burn them. Unless you want to, you know, just age up the edges a little extra by burning them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that you go overboard because they, they are paper. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this flower. Okay, there we go. I think, yeah, that's fairly dry. It's going to have to dry some just from sitting and drying naturally. Wipe that off. Okay. 
So let's let's zoom into that. There you go. They're that fast and easy to color. And you can use any colors you want. You don't have to use the colors I've used. Um, this one I've done, as you can see, in the blue and brown. Here is one that I did in just plain brown. Um, any color will work. Any color that you have that you like. You can also color these with just... Um, just plain acrylic paint. If you take your acrylic paint and mix one part acrylic paint to three parts of water so that it's good and runny. And you can paint that on exactly the same way. The other last little thing I'll probably do with this flower is add some of my diamond stickles around the edges a little bit and it'll be done. Okay everybody, you know the drill. If you haven't already, please push the subscribe button. And for everyone who has, thank you very much. I really appreciate everyone. Thanks for coming by and watching my channel. And I will talk to everybody real soon. Bye-bye.